All animals have pre-surgical blood performed and a general physical exam focusing in on the heart, lungs, and gum color prior to anesthesia. If all systems are go, a mild sedative is given. This sedative relaxes the animal and allows us to place a tube in their trachea, called an endotracheal tube. This tube does two things. It controls the airway so that we don't get debris or water in the, in the lungs during the dental procedure and also allows us to deliver oxygen and a gas anesthetic to maintain anesthesia during the procedure. Next, ECG leads are attached to allow us to monitor the heart rate and a blood pressure cuff is applied to monitor blood pressure. We also monitor core body temperature and apply a bear hugger. The bear hugger blows warm air on the animal to keep them warm during the anesthetic procedure. A dental plate is prepared for the animal to take x-rays of their teeth. This is a vital step during a dental. Since 60% of the tooth is below the gum line, dental x-rays are required to know what is going on below the gum line past the crown. Although crowns may look healthy, there might be a story below the gum line that we're not aware of without these x-rays. Bone loss and abscesses at the tooth root are some of the things that we can identify with x-rays. Here at Town & Country, we have a, a trained technician that monitors anesthesia the entire time. Periodic findings are recorded in the animal's record during anesthesia. Next, our veterinarian gives an antibiotic injection and an anti-inflammatory injection. The antibiotic injection is used to treat any bacteria that may leak into the bloodstream during the dental procedure. And the teeth are probed and any pockets identified and compared to the x-rays. These findings are then charted or recorded in the animal's chart. Next, if a tooth is identified that needs to be extracted, a nerve block or general regional anesthesia is applied and then we use a high-speed water cool drill to remove the tooth. The gum is then closed with sutur suturing. This prevents any food or material getting up into the pocket until it can heal. After suturing is complete, the teeth are then cleaned with a high-speed water-cooled scaler, and then they're cleaned with a high-speed polisher much like we have in the human dentistry field. After this, a sealant is applied to the teeth that lasts several weeks. This helps prevent from tartar from building up too quickly. The animals recover from anesthesia and goes home with a healthy, clean mouth.